All right, so today it is day seven of 15 days foundation. This is where I try out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. Fun fact, every time I record these intros, I say like three different days in the beginning because I don't actually know which one it is. <laughs> We're currently in season five. I've done four other of these series. I have playlists on each one and all the videos, by the way, are color coded. So the thumbnail, if there's a certain color in the thumbnail under the day thing, you know what season it's in and they're also in playlists. So I'm gonna leave season five's playlist down below. Today's foundation is one I have not heard anything about. This is a brand new brand to Sephora. So this is the Ilia True Serum Skin Foundation. No, True Skin Serum Foundation. <laughs> Already messing up. I like their brand name. Ilia just makes me think of Illy, which makes me think of coffee, which makes me happy. I always scope out the new section on Sephora like every single day just to see what's coming out. And this one caught my eye because it said it's a serum infused foundation that's equal parts skincare and color correction. I'm coming off of Actane. I have dry skin, so serum foundations typically work much better for me than something like a matte foundation. This foundation is pricey. It's $54 and you get one fluid ounce, which is standard. The thing that I liked about this and made me feel like that price point was kind of justified was when I was looking in the ingredients. The thing that stuck out to me is the marula oil in here. Marula oil is what's in the drunk elephant oil. This also has aloe leaf extract mastic, which I've never heard of, refines the look of pores and naturally mattifies. Works over time to reduce the appearance of future breakouts. And it has the two oils, marula oil and jojoba oil, which kind of scares me because my skin does not react well to jojoba oil when used alone, just like as skincare. I get closed comedones and I get this really weird like roughness on my skin. So I'm hoping that this is a small enough amount of jojoba oil that I don't get that kind of reaction. And maybe some of the other oils and ingredients kind of work together with that. So if you think of it as foundation plus skincare, I feel like the price point is a little bit more justified. It says it weightlessly delivers buildable light to medium coverage with a radiant finish. It diminishes the look of fine lines and ensures the formula effortlessly melts into the skin for a more even, luminous, and glowing appearance. So that sounded great to me as I was reading it online. It's also non-comedogenic, vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. Downside to this is that it only comes in 10 shades, not great, and the deepest shade doesn't look deep at all from what I can tell. It says medium to dark and the lightest shade, which is what I have is Formentera, which says fair with neutral undertones. So I'm gonna insert swatches right here so you can see how the lightest shade compares to some of the other foundations that I own. All right, lawnmower just decided to go on outside. So hopefully you guys can't hear that, but swatch time right here is the Ilia foundation in the lightest shade, CYO Life Proof in 101, NARS Radiant Foundation in Mont Blanc, Dermacol 208, Tart Rainforest of the Sea in Porcelain, and Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. Just a reminder, I am alternating between drugstore and high-end foundations, so if this one is a little bit too high up there for you, tomorrow there'll be a drugstore foundation, and there's about half-half in this whole series. So if you've been enjoying 15 Days Foundation so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. No, I don't. Right now I'm uploading every single day for 15 days, 6 p.m. sip time. Okay, so right now it's 8 37 in the morning. I'm really excited for this one. I've already washed, moisturized, and prepped my skin. I'm gonna do half my face with my sponge, half my face with my Sigma Fady brush. So packaging, you get a frosted glass bottle. Let's see if there's a pump. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 wait, am I just opening this wrong? Wait, maybe I need to pull off. Okay. Good. Got worried for a second there. So I'm gonna give this a good shake. Let's put the cap back on. I curled my hair this morning with a curling iron, which I can never do. I just have never gotten the technique down. And I finally found an iron that it like glides across my thick freaking hair. I usually have to use a wand to curl. And this is the first time I've been able to use one with like clamp. It was the T3 white curling iron. I just used the one and a half inch attachment. I don't know why I'm telling you this right now. I'm pretty proud of myself that after 25 years, I can finally use a curling iron. So there's a little bit of run to it, but it's not too runny. I'm gonna start out with a brush on this side of my face. So this is supposed to be light to medium buildable coverage. Blur, glow, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's see how this is. Wow, very scented. You can definitely smell some kind of oil in there. Looks like a pretty good shade match. I think this one might apply better with a sponge, but let's do the forehead. Okay, let's try the sponge on the other side right now, and I'll tell you my thoughts. 
Oh man, such a strong scent. It smells like really strong skincare, which makes sense because of, again, all the oils in there. I much prefer this scent to like a perfume scent, but it does smell pretty, almost like medicinal. I'm getting lighter coverage on this side, but the finish looks much better with the sponge. I'm gonna smooth it over on my forehead. With a sponge, that looks beautiful on my forehead. This side with a brush, it doesn't look nearly as good as the sponge side. Coverage is light, for sure, but it is supposed to be buildable. I don't have anything on my sponge right now, by the way. I'm just smoothing this out. So I'm gonna go over and smooth out my whole face and then try and build this up a little bit. It feels very lightweight. I don't feel like I have foundation on at all. I feel like I almost just have a moisturizer on. So let's try and build this guy up. This is one for sure that I would use a sponge to apply. Looks like a totally different foundation with a sponge versus a brush. Ooh, that looks nice. This is a very natural, radiant looking foundation. I don't feel like I need to build up my forehead at all. The most I would say you're gonna get this to is about mm, low medium coverage. So I'm gonna zoom. So here's up close. It looks nice. For a natural looking foundation, this is beautiful. It does look a bit smoothing. Right now it's very dewy. There's oil in it. I think the only area right now I don't love is right around my nose. It is emphasizing my pores a little bit. So this is one that I would use my Revlon pore reducing primer underneath before. It feels like I definitely need to set this part of my face so I can blend my powder products on top. So I am gonna do that. I'm gonna leave my forehead alone like usual. My skin is so dry right now that my foundation looks 50 billion times better and it holds up throughout the day fine without powdering my forehead. So that's why I skip out on that. But I do like to powder this area of my face just so I can blend stuff on top of it. Right now I'm liking this one. It almost reminds me of Josie Marin Vibrancy with way less coverage. That one has great coverage, but just the finish of it and everything and how it's sitting on my skin kind of reminds me of that. So it's 8.52, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so it's now 9.41. We're gonna call the check-in time nine o'clock because that's actually when I finished my face. It just took 10 years to do the rest of my makeup today somehow. Overall, I think it looks beautiful for a more natural looking foundation. The only thing I'm not liking is somehow on my forehead up here, it's like kind of rubbed off or something. I don't know if that happened when I took down the bangs and was kind of going like this, but I'm just gonna take my sponge and kind of go, I don't have anything on it right now. I'm just gonna kind of like smooth out up here. And it seemed to have settled a tiny bit into my line right there. Okay, but just doing that with no product on it looks 50,000 times better. So there's no other areas right now that I'm noticing anything. Looks overall pretty good. I think this one is gonna be for a very specific person, skin type look that you're going for. This is a very glowy, very moisturizing foundation. It's a serum foundation and it is very light coverage. So I think this is something that I would use, probably not with this kind of look, like a full face. I just want something to cover up my redness a little bit, give me some moisture to my skin. I don't think this is something that I would wear as of right now on like a full on makeup look kind of day, but I think this is definitely something that I could also mix in with stuff to give it a little bit more moisture. So I'm gonna insert a clip right here what this looks like out in natural lighting and then we'll do a flash test. All right, let's do a flash test, shall we? It doesn't look too bad to where I wouldn't wear it in photography, I don't think, because it also, it looks really nice on the skin with flash. So makeup on the rest of my face, I tried out the Ace Beauty Quintessential Palette. This so far was very nice. I used this shade on my lid, this one to blend out that brown, and then on my inner corner, I actually used a blush from the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Blush Book. I use this as a blush too, but I just went in with this orange shade right here for my inner corner. I also use this pan as blush today and it's super pigmented, so you just need a little bit. I'm gonna have to keep playing around with these, not sure how I feel about this guy yet. Highlight, I tried the ColourPop Loose Pigment thing, Strobe Glow and Luster Dust. I like this, it definitely gives you a very intense glow. I had to tone this down with powder afterwards because it was really intense. I don't like that there's some glitter in it, but the overall glow is pretty. I don't know if I would reach for that a whole lot just because of the glitter in it. Lashes, I use my Eyelore Accents. We'll see if I can keep them on all day again. This might be a 15 days of foundation record. The lip combo I used today, I feel like this is gonna be one of my new go-to nude combos. I've been really liking this LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Day Liner in the shade Nonstop Nude. And then over top, I use Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in Nudie Patootie, one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. And I love this combo. I feel like this is perfect, not too deep, not too light. So that's everything I'm wearing. Check-in time is nine o'clock. Don't forget to vote one time a day down below for the shelter that you want to win $5,000. I'm gonna be doing a meetup in that winning city, so make sure you cast your vote. Okay, so it's now 2.39, so it's been on for almost six hours. 
I need to peel these lashes off. <laughs> my eyes are burning. I was trying to hold off until right after this check-in. Looks pretty good. My creases aren't too bad at all around my mouth or nose area for me. Forehead looks pretty good. It actually looks a lot less dewy than it did this morning, so I think my skin is like soaking up that oil. It actually has kind of mattified a bit throughout the day. I need some kind of smoothing something under this still. I don't feel like it's necessarily smoothing or blurring at all. I can see it on my skin, but I don't not like how it looks. I think if I, like I said, put on a smoothing primer, probably put on some setting spray over top, it could help out the situation, but it doesn't look bad at all. Let's just pull these off now, shall we? Oh, heaven, like a new woman when you take off eyelashes. You can see the world. We'll see you guys in a few hours at the end of the night. Okay, so it's now 7.22, so it's been on for over 10 hours. So it has like totally mattified, which is crazy. Started off as oils, moisturizing, super dewy, and it has like just entirely mattified. If you have oily skin, you might like that. For me, I'm just at the point where it doesn't look bad at all. And for $52, $54, whatever this was, it just doesn't look like a foundation that looks good enough on my skin that I would wanna pay that much for. Let's back up a little so you can really see this. It is creasing quite a bit on my forehead. I have a few lines right here, across here. It's like settling into two of my forehead lines. The rest of my face looks fine. I definitely have a handful of foundations that look much better on my skin for a fraction of the price. In order to wear this again, I would mix in, I don't even know what, because it's so dewy to start with, but then it mattifies. So I would have to think of what the heck I would mix this in with. Probably something smoothing, but kind of more neutral. I'm gonna play around with this one. I'll update you guys in the wrap up video. But as of right now, on my skin, on dry skin, I don't think this one is worth it. If you have oily skin, you might like this one because of the way that it kind of mattified. There's one ingredient in there that actually said that it is supposed to absorb your oil or like help keep you matte. So I think that ingredient's working. But I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I hope we have like a major winner soon because I keep feeling like I'm getting really excited about one and then it just doesn't look the best throughout the day. So hopefully we'll have a winner coming up. We're halfway through, so there's still a lot of chances. I love you guys. Thanks. Uh-oh. Hot water thing's going off. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. So I'm gonna zoom. Oh. <laughs> Literally just almost fell into my mic.